I got shingles over two and a half weeks ago and I've been in a lot of pain. If you don't know what shingles is, it looks like this. It looks like aliens laid eggs on my skin and eventually these pop with pus spilling out from inside. It is absolutely disgusting. People usually get vaccinated for shingles at age 50 plus, so this is a disease for old people usually, but I'm 33 years old right now and I got it. And asking around, there are some people who got it in high school too, and some people in university and just after university. So apparently it is not a disease just for old people. Anyways, randomly it one day popped out of nowhere. It is from the chickenpox virus. So if you ever had chickenpox in the past, that virus is lying dormant within you and it can come back as shingles anytime. So um, if, you, God, get your shingles vaccine. It hurts to sit or lie down, which is why I'm not leaning back on my chair. I can't sleep well at night. It's not just the affected area that hurts, but your whole body hurts, including your skin and muscles. It attacks your nerves from what I understand, and if not treated quickly, pain can last for years or until you die. My grandmother's friend got shingles decades ago and she's still in some sort of pain because of it. My tip to you is get vaccinated. I still have to get vaccinated. I can get it again. You're not immune just because you got it once. So I have to wait six to 12 months after I recover to get vaccinated. So I'm definitely gonna do that ASAP. I'm gonna schedule an appointment with my family doctor. If you get shingles, you have to take antiviral pills within 72 hours of your first symptoms. And my first symptom was an if itchy, rough red patch on one side of my back. So shingles generally appears on one side of your back and you'll feel something rough and itchy. And when you look at the mirror, it'll be red at first and then it'll get worse. So better to check if it's shingles immediately or not because it's serious. I didn't leave the house for two weeks. It's super painful to ride in a car, like really painful, super painful to wear snug underwear and pants, which is why I've been in my boxers like I am right now for the last two and a half weeks. Not only am I wearing my boxers, but I have to pull it up like a grandpa and all the way up to my belly button <laughs> so that um, it doesn't touch the blisters. Uh, two days ago, I went to Costco. For those of you who don't know Costco and don't live in North America, it's the ultimate grocery store. And wearing pants and riding in the car was still super painful two weeks later. So I'm not going out unless it's absolutely necessary. I have not met any friends. I canceled a third date with a girl. And a week after I canceled the date, she messaged me saying that she's no longer interested. So it's over with that girl. I have no potentials right now, no more dates. I'm not gonna do online dating again for now. I'm just gonna focus on making videos every day, every weekday. Did I feel sad about getting rejected by the girl? Yes, yes, I felt sad and deflated, but I remind myself everything is turning out as it should. My world takes care of me. I'll be okay. So it's time to move on. One possible reaction to getting shingles is why does this shit always happen to me fuck my life um, i know a friend who lives like that but that is counterproductive it only makes you feel worse so i do the opposite and two books that have changed my life say roughly the same thing from reality transurfing it's really only one chapter that's deeply affected me and that is the chapter that says whenever something good happens to you or whenever something bad happens to you, repeat to yourself, your world takes care of you. My world takes care of me. And that everything is turning out as it should. Just repeat that whenever something happens, good or bad. And a similar thing in the Tao Te Ching, whenever some, anything happens, or when you wake up in the morning, or when you go to bed at night, repeat to yourself, thanks for everything. I have no complaint whatsoever. So both similar messages from Reality Transurfing and the Tao Te Ching. It's really changed the way that I 
I feel more gratitude when I repeat these things, whether it's something good or whether it's something bad. For example, I am super thankful that I got shingles four weeks before I'm going to Korea. So I'm going to Korea next week to stay with my dad and to visit my grandmother. And imagine if I got shingles the day before and oh my gosh, if I was stupid enough not to cancel the flight, which I would have lost my ticket and that cost over 2000 Canadian dollars. But if, if I was stupid enough not to cancel, I would have been suffering so much on the plane, sitting for 14 hours with the painful blisters on my back. And then I would have just suffered throughout the whole trip and that would have been absolutely a nightmare. So I am super thankful that that didn't happen. And hopefully I make a full recovery within the next week. So by the time I go to Korea, I'm in full recovery mode or fully recovered by then. So what am I going to do until I leave for Korea? I'm going to make videos, ideally multiple videos a day, and schedule them to be released every weekday. So I'm ahead of schedule and I have a buffer. I only have a week before I'm leaving for Korea, but I hope to continue making videos, daily videos while I'm in Korea and just document my travels, just like I did with my daily documenting on my YouTube channel during my Germany trip in April, this past April. This is my daily habit tracker. Today I worked on my next video, which is this one right now. I'm also gonna work on another one after this. I still have yet to vlog, live stream, and read, but I got my 8,000 steps in the morning when I was walking for about an hour on my walking pad this morning. Getting my steps in first thing in the morning after drinking a glass of water. No music, no TV. Just gonna be me and my thoughts while I stew on what to talk about in my next video. So that is two checked off, two to go, and an extra video if I can squeeze that in. So let's do this. Oh, the reason it's so dark with the curtains is cause the light kind of shines in bright. So the lighting is better if I do the curtains. So that's why it looks like it's nighttime, but it is actually very bright outside. It is 12.20 p.m. in the afternoon. So I have time to make this a super productive day. 1% better every day, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Mochi likes going in a pram and then walking a little bit on the way back. <laughs> you want cuddles, Tigger? You want cuddles? Love it. <laughs>